what are transforms and what and what role do they play in reinforcement learning oh this is a great question uh, transformers are neural networks uh, in essence that are equipped with a mechanism of self att attention uh, differentially weighing the significance of each part of an input data with respect to other parts of the same input data. Um, you know, it's a bit tricky to think about this. It is often used in the fields of natural language processing and computer vision. It's better, I mean, you know, if you have good examples, this would illustrate it well there. You know, if you, if you, for example, translate something from English to French, there are often cases where I uh, can't think of one right now where, 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 you know, a noun phrase is sort of reversed, you know, um, basically where, where if you translated it word for word, it would sound wrong in English because it would have the wrong order. Whereas in French it would sound wrong if you translate it directly from English to French. And, and because you need this sort of reversal of concepts, for example, this is a very famous example of how they use this, uh, how they demonstrate this attention mechanism. You know, it sort of knows to pay attention to other nouns to form this full noun. And it also knows that in French, you know, the attention would be, you know, it, it would tell it to basically reverse it. So it's, it's a little bit tricky to explain this, but um, it's very important, this, this, this thing called the attention mechanism. It's often used in fields of natural language processing and vision you know, for this reason. However, it is useful for any task that could be framed as a sequence prediction task. This is important here for reinforcement learning. An action, namely, can often just be interpreted as another link in a chain of events. And, and chains of events with different actions within them can be even evaluated and then compared. We might call this conditional sequence modeling. Conditional because the sequence are conditional, uh, the sequences are conditional on the actions taken by the agent. The, the significance of these newer models relative to earlier sequence modeling uh, architectures, um, namely recurrent neural networks, include, uh, including the a very famous uh, long-term, short-term memory network, LSTM, is that they allow now for parallelizations, parallelization where the other approaches did not. So in LSTM, for example, you would have to go, uh, your, your, your uh, learning mechanism would have to consider every link in a chain in the sequence um, after it, it considered the other ones before right so it has to go so it has to visit every node in order whereas in this new approach in this um, in, in the transformer approach you have this embedding in uh, for each link in the sequence which includes a positional element and that allows it to to process the entire sequence in parallel this means also that we can uh, that we can handle very large action uh, action state spaces or many correlated sequences in order to predict what would be the best action in one of the sequences at one point in time. A recent paper that introduced and introduced such a model, which they call decision transformer, has, according uh, to authors, beaten or matched state-of-the-art reinforcement learning performances on a bunch of tasks.